Smith Wigglesworth, born on June 8, 1859, in Menston, Yorkshire, England, came from humble beginnings. His family was very poor, and young Smith often had to work alongside his mother to help support them. As a child, he worked in the fields and later took up various jobs, including plumbing. Despite his rough exterior and lack of formal education, there was something extraordinary about Smith that would later come to light. Smith's upbringing was far from religious. His parents were not churchgoers, and the family's financial struggles meant that survival often took precedence over spirituality. However, his grandmother was a devout Methodist and she made a significant impact on young Smith by taking him to meetings where he first heard the gospel. At the tender age of eight, Smith experienced a profound spiritual awakening. One Sunday morning, he attended a Wesleyan Methodist meeting where he was deeply moved by the message. It was there that he made a personal commitment to Christ, marking the beginning of a lifelong journey of faith. As a young man, Smith moved to Bradford where he met Polly Featherstone. Polly was a devout Christian and her strong faith and devotion to God greatly influenced Smith. They married in 1882 and together began to attend a Salvation Army church. Polly's vibrant faith and passionate prayers stirred something deep within Smith, and he began to seek a deeper experience with God. Smith, before fully embracing his faith, was known to have a volatile temper. One night after a disagreement, Smith locked Polly out of their house because she had gone to a church meeting and did not have supper ready for him. Polly, instead of reacting in anger, spent the night praying on their doorstep. The next morning, Smith opened the door and Polly entered with a smile. Instead of rebuking him or expressing bitterness, she lovingly greeted him and went about her usual morning routine, preparing breakfast for him as if nothing had happened. Her grace, love and unwavering faith profoundly impacted Smith. This event was a turning point for Smith Wigglesworth. Polly's response showcased the essence of Christian love and forgiveness, breaking through Smith's hardened heart. Her steadfast faith and Christ-like behavior led Smith to a deeper conviction and ultimately played a crucial role in his complete surrender to God. Polly's influence on Smith not only strengthened their marriage, but also set him on the path to becoming one of the most renowned evangelists and miracle workers of his time. Smith's spiritual journey took a dramatic turn when he encountered the Pentecostal movement. In 1907, he attended a meeting where he was baptized in the Holy Spirit. This experience radically transformed him, empowering him with a boldness and faith that would define his ministry. Smith Wigglesworth became known as the Apostle of Faith, a man through whom God performed extraordinary miracles. One of the most famous accounts involves the healing of a man named Lazarus, who had been bedridden for years and given up as incurable. Smith walked into the man's home, boldly declared the power of Jesus Christ, and commanded the man to rise in the name of Jesus. Lazarus was miraculously healed, rising from his bed and walking again. Another awe-inspiring story recounts the healing of a woman with a large tumor. Smith, with unshakable faith, commanded the tumor to leave in Jesus' name. The tumor immediately disappeared, leaving the woman completely healed. His faith and the miracles that followed him drew crowds from far and wide, eager to witness the power of God in action. Perhaps one of the most dramatic miracles occurred during a church service. A mother brought her deceased child to Smith, desperate for a miracle. With unwavering faith, Smith took the lifeless body in his arms and prayed fervently. Suddenly, the child began to breathe and came back to life, much to the astonishment of everyone present. Smith's ministry was characterized by a deep reliance on the Holy Spirit, unyielding faith and a profound love for people. He often said, only believe, emphasizing the simplicity and power of faith in God. Despite facing criticism and skepticism, Smith remained steadfast, trusting in God's ability to perform the impossible. Smith Wigglesworth's life is a testament to the transformative power of faith and the extraordinary miracles that can happen when one is fully surrendered to God. Smith Wigglesworth passed away on March 12, 1947. His wife, Polly Wigglesworth, died earlier on January 1, 1913. Smith Wigglesworth and his wife, Polly Wigglesworth, are laid to rest at Nab Wood Cemetery in Shipley, West Yorkshire, England. Their gravesite has become a place of interest for many who have been inspired by their lives and ministry. His story continues to inspire countless believers around the world, reminding us that with God all things are possible.